what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about halloween halloween ends this time around halloween ends will begin filming apparently in a different time frame than what was previously told to us by the same person james Jude courtney who we know has been starting as michael myers in halloween kills and he started as michael myers in uh halloween 2018 as well and he'll continue that role in halloween ends so recently during a panel at flashback weekend in chicago this is coming to us courtesy of screen rant um he gave an update as to when filming would start now he did previously state that filming would start in the fall and i know i made a video talking about that but now for one reason or another and we'll get to that in a second as it pertains to halloween kills he stated that when asked if anything for Halloween Ends was able to be shot before the pandemic, he confirmed that the third film in the trilogy will start filming on January 10th, 2022. Now, the thing that's very interesting about that is how specific he's being. So that means they're very confident that that's going to be the date that they want to lock this in to start filming and have no hiccups, of course, along the way, hopefully, so that they can make their October 2022 release that same year. Uh, this will be the same thing all over again, honestly, with Halloween 2018 shot and released in the same year. So nothing is impossible as it comes to that. And they can still put out a very good movie. The interesting thing about that, though, was just how specific he was being. So, I, I mean, I guess what that tells me is that there's a reason why it got pushed out to January. It maybe have to do with what they want to see with Halloween Kills and how that's perceived or how that's received the box office wise critically. And if they need to make any little slight changes to the narrative that they're already planning to shoot. So that way, if they are already filming Halloween ends and Halloween Kills comes out and it's a bust, they can hear the criticism and not have time to i guess make any uh, make any changes like they would like to because of the fact that they're already in the process of filming halloween ends which is now going to be the sequel to a critical failure if that were to happen i don't think that's going to be the case i just feel like it was pushed out more so to the fact of if it is gonna get critically panned you know you have time to digest everything hear what people are saying and maybe improve upon that because you know honestly when it comes to what film critics have to say some of them will talk about things that have nothing to do with the movie to try to justify why the movie was bad or why it was good uh but those who actually are talking about things that went into the actual film itself and what made it good and what made it bad if a lot of them are saying what made it bad more so than good if you as a filmmaker caring about putting out a good product i feel like you would want to take in all of that healthy criticism that's not rooted in any underlying uh i guess politics if you will or rooted in justifying something being wrong on screen because of how it is going against your political views or something like that how a lot of people will put this into their criticisms but again, a lot of people also argue that we put that in movies these days. And I, I get that where you have a movie like Candyman coming out and how there's fear that it's going to be overly political, this, that, and the third. But I'm pretty confident that the whole reason they have decided to shoot this movie in January and not later this fall and just go to the winter time instead is just because they want to see what's going to happen with Halloween Kills when it comes out later this year in October. We're so close to this film. At this point in this game, we were supposed to be getting Halloween ends this year. Halloween Kills should have already been released last October. We should have already been enjoying that movie and how good it is and how good I'm sure it's going to be for over a year now. We would have been coming up on the one year anniversary, getting ready to watch Halloween ends. And then we could have spent our days speculating on what ways they could go forward to either a keep the franchise fresh and relevant and continue this hot streak or go over ways that they could potentially take the franchise back into what was getting tiresome in the in the previous installments and what was putting a negative light on Michael Myers as a horror villain in the late two i'll say early 2000s and mid 2000s with the rob zombie remakes but you know i don't know what you guys think about this as it pertains to them moving the date to january do you even care james Jude courtney in the role of michael myers he's been amazing hopefully we get to see that same amazingness soon with halloween kills expect another amazing performance from him and then he'll continue that over in the halloween ends the whole reason that this is moved honestly would most likely have to do with you know wanting to see how the film is received and then what are you as a filmmaker like david gordon green comes across as he comes across as someone who takes these things into consideration as it pertains to not only what he wants to do and the vision he has in mind but what is it about your vision that may not have worked for other people 
or what is it about your vision that other people thought you did well certain things about your vision that while they agree with it overall what didn't they think you do well so that you can improve upon it because you guys have already established that people have an interest in what you have to say about this franchise and your iterations for this franchise as it pertains to having a new timeline that's separated from all the other messy stuff not to say that this isn't also adding to the mess <laughs> but you know david gordon green he doesn't seem like the type of person who is just making movies and not taking in what people have to say whether that be good or bad and i i would imagine blumhouse playing a factor in this too they just want to see how his halloween kills are going to perform and then based off of that they'll make any changes that they need to in preparation for their january shoot as it relates to halloween ends because like i said before at the beginning of the video if you start shooting halloween ends in october or whenever in the fall like you were going to and halloween kills comes out and days later it's just getting panned left and right or maybe it's not as much of a hit at the box office and you're trying to you're trying to scramble as to why that is and you're trying to figure out well what can we do different here with this movie why try to figure out why you're shooting the movie figure that out before you start to shoot the movie figure that out before you start to shoot the movie or they could have stuck to their original plan and shot both movies back to back and they wouldn't have had to worry about something like that <laughs> but i'm just throwing that out there but january 10th 2022 they want to start shooting that movie halloween ends we know that it's supposed to be the final iteration of what david gordon green and danny mcbride have been bringing to the table as it pertains to this new timeline that we've been getting over the past five years at this point or longer so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what do you think will happen in halloween ends what do you think will happen as far as like production going on in january do you think they'll have no hiccups along the way do you think something could happen before january that puts a damper on them even getting the film that movie i would hope not uh there's a lot of things to consider in between while we wait for january since they're not filming in the fall anymore i hope that nothing happens where they have to pull the plug on it and delay it for another long short period or another long period i meant to say and then push the movie out from beyond 2022 into 2023 you know because i feel like at that point people will lose a lot of interest but let me know again what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i me to cover in the future down in the comment section i have a link to the facebook group please join that group if you want to stay updated on anything horror related with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video